I was an aircraft mechanic for about 10 years, pretty much reached the ceiling on that and started to look into real estate and traveled a lot at that time. So I was traveling. I moved every six to, you know, six months to a different um different site. My goal was to kind of just own crash pads um, in every city that I would move to. So I started to dive a little deeper in real estate and um, just decided to go full-time by the time I came to Atlanta. Uh, so I've been a full-time real estate professional since 2017, 2018. I had a few objectives. I mean, building a portfolio was ultimately it. So I've focused into multifamily. Before that, there was, you know, a bunch of other things that I'm, you know, interested in. And I'm still interested in like, you know, development, incremental development, neighborhood scale development, adaptive reuse type projects. But my main focus has been just building a portfolio and helping my clients do the same. So this entire time, majority of my clients have been investors, uh, newer investors or seasoned investors. And I have recently, you know, just pivoted into just focusing primarily on multifamily, residential and commercial. Although I'm working towards developing a sales team to do more of the residential stuff. Got it. Okay. So then uh, where do you feel like, like, what's your goal for this year? And what do you feel like are some challenges you're experiencing and in- and maybe inhibiting you from achieving it? I think before it was just the lack of focus. Like I said, I was really trying to do a lot of different things um, at the same time. So I wasn't really consistent in my sales. Um, But now I'm kind of seeing the picture of how I can do the sales and how it can fold into the investing. And I think I'll get some equity on some deals. I think you spoke about in one of your videos. Yeah, I I think it was a lack of focus. I, I am really focused now and I am creating that audience of people who are, you know, seeking me out for multifamily. Um, I just haven't done the production yet. So I'm just working on being more efficient to, you know, close more deals, really. Cool. So then your niche right now, you said it's multifamily? Yes. What is your process from, you know, pulling leads, prospecting them and selling them? Like, what's that process look like? So I've been pretty buyer focused. Like I'm, I'm more of a buyer rep as of late or traditionally I've been a buyer rep, I would source or I have sourced deals off market for my buyers. I've wholesaled and stuff like that too. I like to spend a lot of time on the dispo side outside of like a, having a listing, but like trying to, you know, market to off market was just unnecessary. So um, my process, you know, I'm, I onboard buyers pretty consistently, you know, set them up with MLS access, which is more so residential or small multifamily. That's pretty much my process. I have, or I do also pull lists in like cold call. So I've recently just pulled a co-star list and started cold calling. Not really satisfied with co-star. I find that some of the data seems old. Sometimes I will, you know, lead generate for particular buyers. Like I, I feel like a lot of my buyer pool there, they overlap. So I would try to find some, you know, pocket listings or off-market deals. So connecting with brokers, connecting with agents or going direct to seller and just so putting things. Is that what most your day looks like? I need to hire a transaction coordinator. I've got transaction coordinator PTSD. So it's been kind of challenging to find another one that I feel like could just plug in. So um, you know, chasing down deals, I had to put out some fires for a closing like Friday. I mean, I'm working on another deal that's kind of hectic. So outside of putting out fires, I have, you know, worked towards consistently um, time blocking for lead gen, but I feel like it's an ebb and flow. Like sometimes I can be really good yeah. at managing my calendar and time blocking. And then other times it's just like, all over the place. All right. So uh, I have a kind of an idea to start here. Let me grab actually a, a notepad because this will be a fun exercise. Have you done an org chart before? Yeah. All right. Great. Let's create an org chart for you because I definitely want to feel like, I feel like number one, obviously as a tra- for a transaction coordinator, obviously that'll be an easy one to fill, but I want to know like where we're going. Like, I mean, do you have an org chart that's designed for like doing like how much, how much, uh, how much did you make last year? In sales, probably 70. So then what is your goal to, uh, to do this year? 300. 300. Cool. And then mm-hmm. may, give me like a 10 year goal. A 10 year goal. Um, a 10 year goal is not so much production, 5 million or more assets under management. I'm guessing you can imagine that uh, your team will look very different when you have $5 million in under management versus doing $300,000 a year in income. What I like to do is that I like to, you know, I have a white piece of paper right in front of me. You're just going to cut it down the middle real fast, just do a line down the middle. And then what we're going to do is two things. Number one, because I basically will do this in every phase of my life. I'll have like, what does my team look like today? So on the left-hand side, you can just do today. And then you have, you know, we'll design what it looks like today. And then on the right-hand side, you're going to be, you're going to put your goal, right? You're just at the very top. You just write the word goal and then you mm-hmm. can write three hundred thousand dollars right or five million dollars and like and i would even do both right like i would say uh 300 grand you want to do this year but like what would be a good average income that you'd like to make beyond 300 maybe it's you know is it 
three is like 300 or like i'm good i don't need to grow anymore or or what is the number that like kind of excites you that number excites me too. yeah i feel like that number i could diversify my focus a little bit more if i'm able to do that consistently And then do you think at $300,000 a year, you can slowly get closer and closer uh, to your $5 million in assets? yeah So you're going to write goal 300 grand and just do and 5 mil uh, AOM, right? Assets under management. What I want you to do is I want to design an org chart with you, right? I mean, like, obviously my handwriting isn't spectacular, but you can kind of get the, the gauge, right? Today um, is over here. Uh, for 300K and $5 million under, master, under management on one side, right? And all you're going to do is you're, we're going to design, what does your today look like? What does your team look like today? My team right now looks like me. Um, I have showing agents. Um, I also have a few agents in my downline that I refer different opportunities to. But in the terms of the day-to-day, -day, yeah, it's me. You know, you'll do like a little line and then you're going to have you and just a D. So it that's you. And then you said the obviously we can kind of have this branch out. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm what I'm looking at in just a second, right? On one side you have some showing agents. You can write a bunch of their names. Who else do you have in your team? Do you have any administrative or VAs or anything like that? No. Well, basically, what I'm looking at is this, right? Like you know, you at the top, and then you have I wrote SA for showing agent. So that's sort of like what your team looks like today. So now we need to look at like where does like where is the team going? What does it look like in the future? So now you're going to do yourself again at the top. And then what is it? What do you think the team gets to look like in order to do 300K a year? You already said, I like how you said before, you have a transaction. Transaction coordinator. Yeah. Um, showing agents and admin. So, I mean, I had a VA. And I mean, I said I had a TC as well. I felt like it was too much too soon. So my VA was more so primarily on like deal evaluation to look for deals for me and my business partner at the time. So I'm not really sure what the placement or the org chart would look like if I'm kind of blending. I'll show you, right? So wait, uh, again, I'm just, I think about like, again, we're talking future, right? Because the, the, I'm going to show you in a minute, there's an in-between, yeah. right? There's where you are and then slowly kind of filling spots. A t like, let's just, again, just start, we're dreaming for a minute, right? What does the team look like in the future, right? You got a transaction coordinator, uh, showing agents, you got an administrative assistant. What else do you have? Mm -hmm. Outside of showing agents, I'm thinking more referral partners, more solid referral partners. Okay, great. Yeah. I mean, like you're going to have referral partners. Maybe you have some salespeople. I mean, that's kind of what I was thinking as a referral partner. So, okay. I just, like, I, as in, like, I have, you know, 20 some odd sales agents at this point who just work underneath, uh, under the team. But yeah, if you look at them as referral partners, they can look, they, they can, it doesn't, have, like, again, I'm not attached to how it looks per se for you, right? Mm -hmm. Like, again, if you've seen success with referral partners, fantastic, right? Referral partners to me is like my lender. He's right. Like, people who might need to sell, but it doesn't work for me. I'm unclear on the function then because you're right. Like those are, I guess, my vendor partners, lenders, uh, inspectors, et cetera. Yep. But yeah, a sales team is, I think, what I had in mind. So you have all these positions, right? Like you have this work chart, you build that with all these different positions, right? Like obviously like, you know, I'm dream we're dreaming for a moment. Like if you take a second, you know, again, we have a transaction coordinating team. Our salespeople are also showing agents. You know, mm -hmm. I have executive assistants. You know, I have referral partners, right? Like I had mentioned to you, my lenders, attorneys, contract, I mean, lots of them. The, my org chart, and again, that will have, it has multiple positions, right? And obviously like I'm always looking to hire and, and fill more positions. I own a lot of real estate as well. So I have a property manager, right? Like that's a, a function mm -hmm. that's part of my org chart for the ownership side of things. You know, like I have a team that we're building. Uh, we're about to launch a fund, my first fund. Right. So nice. a lot of money. So like I have a partner with, I have two partners with that as well as other, you know, we're going to have uh, an org chart specifically for the fund. Right. Like, so right. I need to know what I'm hiring to, right. Like, cause if you don't know what those roles are, right. Which again, now underneath today, right. I'm going to have like a little bit, I'm cutting that side in half for a second for you. There's going to be in the next phase, right? Like what is going to be our first hire? And mm -hmm. by the way, that could just be Dominique. And then you see, you might have two positions. You got the showing agents and now you just need, need some type of administrative, like an administrative slash transaction coordinator. This person can help you pull your lists and they can also, you know, follow up on your emails for you. You might pay this person. The cool part about this type of individual is that it doesn't have to look or be some type of way. Like it doesn't just have to be some type of full-time position. This person can work two hours a day at $15 an hour in your local marketplace because you don't have enough business for that person to have to be full time. So you can find a licensed agent who you can say like, listen, you know, then this can just be, you know, maybe a stay at home mom who's got her license and she could be, uh, work, she could work for you for two hours a day or three days a week for four hours a day for 15 bucks an hour. Doesn't have to be super expensive, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, and they definitely don't have to work full time right now. So at least this gives you the flexibility where this individual has the experience of transaction coordination and can use the other time that you need her possibly to do some other tasks. And she can even be a possible showing agent for you. Right? Like you can even say like, hey, for an additional $25 per showing that you do, 
You can do by showing, or it's $15 an hour, and these are the four activities I need you to do. Transaction coordination, lead list, and, you know, everything to do with pulling leads, importing the lead list, cleaning it, scrubbing it the whole nine, right? Getting it ready for me. CRM management, uh, showing properties, right? And that's all 15 or $20 an hour as in a hypothetical. But I only need you for 10 hours a week, more or less. Maybe it's four hours a week. Like you can start and slowly build up. You can also structure it as a, a per transaction, per mm -hmm. transaction sale uh, or income. You can structure it however you want. But either, gotcha. either one of those will probably be the most flexible to start. Like now you have like the showing assistance, which you already have, right? Which is one side, right? Which is probably is obviously going to be still needed. And then the other side, which, you know, again, you're going to need a TC and you need an administrative assistant right now. So, but it just, it might not be an insane amount of work for that person, right? right. Which is probably the part-time. And then that individual, by the way, can be somebody you grow with, right? And then slowly over time, this person can go from being hypothetically at the start, they can be, let's just say three to six hours uh, a week. And then you can say like, hey, the next goal is that within the next 90 days is that we get you to 10 to 20 hours a week. And then by the end of this year, my goal is to get you to somewhere between 30 and 40 hours a week full time. Is that something you're open to? Because the right administrative assistant should be able to easily double your income. Your future organization chart, right? Your future work chart is you got your TC, mm -hmm. you got your showing assistants, you got your administrative assistant, got your referral partners and some salespeople, which I like that org chart, right? Pretty simplistic. Um, obviously you can break off some parts. So, you know, we have, you know, I have an entire marketing team. You know, I have seven full-time people who work around my marketing, right? All the social media, whole nine yards, right? And I have, you know, a lot of referral partners and a bunch of people who don't work for me, but have referred me a bunch of business. I don't ever look at it like they work for me, but we're partners, right? Like we work together in trying to build up the business. So it's like, okay, I know where I'm going. And it's like, okay, for me now, like my million dollar a month organization chart that I have, that looks very different than what I have today, which is like, realistically, I just need more salespeople. That's my one lever right now. Like I'm hiring, I'm looking to uh, hire a bunch more salespeople because I know when I can get to 50 salespeople, I'll be doing somewhere between two and $3 million a month. So it's like, I'm, I'm working towards that. Not there now, but I know that like, Hey, like I know that the more that I pull on this lever of trained salespeople working at a high level, like we have today, we will get there. And obviously when you bring on X amount more salespeople, I'm going to need a few more positions when the transaction management team and the marketing team, and when they kind of grow in unison, you know, again, even for your position, like let's just focus on hiring one transaction manager, uh, transaction coordinator and a slash administrative assistant part-time. So what, how, what's the function of your sales team? What does that look like? They are prospecting. They're like, they're just hitting the phones. So they do somewhere between 75,000 and 100,000 cold calls in, uh, a month. All right. So they're just hunting for good opportunities. They bring the opportunities to the captain and team leaders. We review the deals. We make offers on every property. We pre-negotiate every deal based on their, you know, motivation. We'll then move them to the next tier, which, you know, uh, is pitching out, you know, getting an OM and marketing prep for them, getting all the details set up and all the leases and all the materials so that we can pitch out that deal to our buyers and then um, try to get as many offers on that property as possible. No, that's perfect. I mean, this was helpful to put it in perspective because um, I've been thinking about hiring an assistant. So finding somebody local to kind of fill that role makes a lot of sense. Um, but I am interested in kind of hearing more about the levers and like how to kind of scale into them. Um, but that's just pretty I'm solid. Right now, the first thing to get done is build you first. Let's get you to a few hundred grand a year because you have to understand like, why does a salesperson want to work for somebody? They're like you, they're like me. They want to make a lot of money. And unless you are, it is rare that you will find somebody who wants to work for you. Right. That makes sense. Let's work on getting you to a really good place. Let's get you to over the six figure mark, right? Let's get you to have a, you know, a, a full pipeline, right? And have some systems in place, which can get you with one good administrative assistant working, you know, a decent amount of hours every week, we should easily be able to get you uh, and working on a little bit larger deals with a little mm -hmm. bit more spread. We should be able to get you to the multi six figure range. And once you're in like the 152, 250 range, we can start saying like, okay, now you have the clout to bring on a salesperson. Say, hey, this is what I've done. I'm just going to plug you into our systems and it'll allow you to do the same. You make X percent, I make X percent, right? And then, yeah, as that, and then you grow together. And then as, you know, now all of a sudden you're doing, you know, three, four, three, four, five, six hundred thousand dollars a year. They make their percentage, you make your percentage. And then as nice. that goes on, now you're starting to attract more and more salespeople. But we first got to get you grooving. Again, if you need any more support, just reach out in the WhatsApp chat. All the students are super friendly and uh, we'll try to help you out.